Hello, it is I, True Stealth, and welcome back to the second public video of me playing Dandy Ace. So, like I said in the last one, I cut the first one off at around 30 or so minutes just because I didn't want uh, another, I don't want like hour long video of this, as it is a lot of stuff to watch at one time. I typically try doing stuff between 15 and 20 minute videos, but for this time, I'm just, I'll just, I just like to record it because it's just fun to play each one of these routes. Like, give me roguelikes and you'll see me playing those things for hours on end. It's great. Like, I, roguelikes, I typically tend to finish in a short amount of time. So, Hungry Chumper, I want, but I'm going to wait to use it because I don't really have a card to affect flood. It's best to use it with, so I'm not going to max out here. But I will go ahead and put some points into gain I can keep potion slots. Uh, go ahead and heal up. And here, uh, I'll go payback knuckles, because I'm really, not really trusting myself with bunny shoes. Especially since here, it's not as easy to dodge stuff as you realize. Lots of stuff are just bigger, like bigger effects, but more, but less damage. <laughs> Wanna hear some more? Welcome to the central hall. Does that mean this is the center of the palace? Ooh, with those deduction skills, you could have been a detective. Nah, I wouldn't look good in the Spectre house. I don't know, Dandy. While it may not seem as fancy as the other parts of the palace, the Central Hall is a very important place. And if you allow me to give you a couple tips. Sure. What do you got? Watch your step and try not to get fried. <laughs> yep. So here is another place I haven't really been before, so I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to do. But I got my gear. So let's go ahead and last episode we took the diamond path true and we made it here. Oh, this is what I meant by not trying to get fries. You see here, these are little heating panels, and you might be saying, oh, well, what do they do? That. As every single time you press on them, it just procs that and Yeah, oh man, this is a hectic to say the least. That is hectic. So not only do we have, like last round, it was kind of annoying with how each key made it, how each press made it this, but now we have to focus around dodging enemies that are all about area effects. Actually, yeah, that was similar to last round too, with how area effect was basically the main point of the entire garden area everything wasn't as much damage but with how much range stuff covered it was it might as well have been oh uh the sweeper i have not seen sweeper at all so i don't actually know what she does and i don't want to find out i don't know why but i'm thinking of all these basics sweep 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 I completely doubt that's what she, I doubt she just like pushes you off. That would be unbelievably cool. Go ahead and just get that stuff done. Yep, all right, so. I know if one change in this bay version too, so I can they give treasure chests a lot more often. And as we're not really using, we actually already have a cluster, so we aren't going to be even keeping it. Actually, so with how this is running, we are going to change things around. And instead, just make it where that card is highly damage based. Oh, it's Lady Hook. Lady Hook, Lady Hook. As you can see, uh, yeah, she got range, speed, and um, probably damage, but we don't exactly want to find out, do we? 
Oh yeah, this is uh not exactly the most fun uh because Aha Oh no 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 oh wait oh no 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 okay oh uh oh no wait no oh, oh, oh. we're gonna need heal here oh my god I what I, I, right now, I'm just like running across all this stuff and trying not to die, which is easier said. To, oh, she sweeps flames towards you. Well then, uh, I don't know what to say, but it's probably one of the biggest changes is not only do we have smaller range smaller room in that area hey okay so this is a tea shop here you can spend lots of gold to get extra stuff like you can replenish charge your teapot or you can just gain health of course replenishing your teapot is always best and i well we'll see what I'll, if i get low again i'll go back there like because especially i can't find any heal but otherwise i'm not gonna worry about it that much so one thing I enjoy doing is, oh, wait a sec. That's, 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 oh, wait. Oh, wait, oh, uh. Yeah, this is crazy. And so the crazy thing about this isn't even the fact that. Okay, that's actually fun to do because Resonance Cascade, every single pro, a pro counts as when you go through a portal. And affects both sides, so that's nice. But since you have the small area, uh, Lady Hook's annoying because you don't really have lots of range to block around. If this is somewhere like the garden, we could run around those huge areas. I, I'm surprised. I'm not really sure how I dodged that. If I did. So her sweeping flames is annoying because it kind of blocked off areas. Besides that, she's not necessarily that bad. Oh, that's okay. Okay. Um. Well, I uh, um. That's that's terrifying. That's that's terrifying. So uh. Yeah, I'm gonna go get that teapot charge and use it right now. Yeah, I'm. I, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that's where Lady Hook is starting to be dangerous now. It's not necessarily even the fact that she herself is troublesome. It's that. Wait. I was wrong. We are getting another key. So, yeah. oh, that's, hmm, that's cool. Possibly that means that each path has its own key that you can unlock, which is cool. Which means I to unlock each key, you have to unlock the previous key. So that's nice. I kind of just want to skip the key, but if I'm correct, you can't. Uh, yeah, I I expected this. All right, actually, I, I kind of want to just like drag her over here. This is one thing I love to do, which is keeping the enemy in a place where they can't actually do much, or rather isolate them. Because one of the most annoying parts about them, if often isn't even like actually them there but rather than being around a lot of other groups and without me not having to worry about that helps a whole lot just why i'm able to just clear them out so easily there but so that area didn't actually lead to anywhere and which means down here requires a heart key okay yeah this may be a loss for me but we're gonna do our best. 
Oh, this is all. Uh, oh boy. Uh, actually. Actually, wait, 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 wait. Oh, oh, okay, okay. So, wait, our pendant didn't go off. Okay. Shield tower here. Oh, that's, that's, that's troublesome. That's troublesome. Okay, as long as we keep him good, we're fine. Yeah. Um. So, right side, now we have the heart key. The heart key is ours to keep. So we don't actually have to worry about losing the heart key later, but. Oh boy. Um. Yeah, I don't have anything. I. Mm. Mm. Yeah, this this may be a dead run. I really am just not confident in the, my ability to overcome this right now. Like, a whole lot of new stuff isn't necessarily bad. But, oh, you're just going to... Okay, now now you want to come out. Dang it. Why did you hit me? For no. Oh, gosh. That was so... So right now, the most dangerous thing isn't actually uh, the enemies, but rather the fact that I'm... What, what, what was that? What? Wait. What? what, what? Oh, that's, that's... Oh. Oh. Oh my, oh my God. What the? I'm gonna have to try to find a way to survive in these areas with under 50 health. Well, I'll go and say, uh, I, have, I basically have two lives right now, so. I guess I can try making use of that, but besides, if, why? She lives just to fight me. <laughs> oh, Lady Hook, you're looking as uh, great as ever. Let me say, I, I hate what you've done with the place. I absolutely hate it. Let me just say that. But uh, now we just have one in me. It's a lot less frustrating. Not to say it's not frustrating, just it's more manageable. And I, I still don't really know exactly how much more we have to deal with. But I imagine it's not nearly as bad as it is now. So, as long as there's no more gated areas, we're actually probably fine. Let's see. Uh, I don't know which way I want to go. So, we can sell this. We can sell this. Now, I am very willing. If it's just the knight there, I will gladly just fight my little way through him and jump back out. Though, so, I just want to get to an exit, but I have no idea where exit is. So we're just gonna actually try to run through this. If oh, we're at the. Okay, so, um, okay, which that means likely is the fact that if we want to get to Cinderella, which is the whole reason we're doing this right now, we're going to want to go the other way. Actually, let's see, if I'm right, there shouldn't actually be any, there's Lady Hook, there's Lady Hook, there's Lady Hook. Yeah, no, we aren't going that way. Um, oh, wait, wait, oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, there's a gate over there. Yeah, we're just. Mm. I. You know what? Axel Angel's altar. Axel Angel's altar. I. I'm just gonna have to take this free, easy win, and then just come back and fight against. Fight for, towards Tisrella on the next run because. 
that area is hectic and I clearly don't have experience or muscle memory for it. What I want to, I don't need hungry chumpers since I'm not going against this relic. I want to keep that because it will give you the highest like card for your area. And that's pretty useful. So I do not do that. Leaves a trail of blue fire. That's interesting. But we're gonna put money into that. And then we'll go over here. I'll get our little trinket, which we can do by shooting over here. Uh so yeah. Oh yeah, Axelangelo. You've made it to his altar. How exciting. I've made it to whose altar? Beyond this gate lies the altar of the Master of Arts himself, the famous Axelangelo. Sounds important. Is he a famous painter around these parts? The greatest. Have you run into the deadly art princes yet? Let's just say he taught them everything they know. Actually, in this run, we haven't seen them because we went the other path. Uh. Oh, I'd love to get an autograph. For your own sake, let's hope you catch him in a good mood. <laughs> yep. Actually, now I think about it. I think this is actually the only. Actually, no, I'm pretty sure we can fight Cicerella as well. I'm not sure. Oh, not you again. This is what he says if you're returning to fight him. It's it's a nice little touch they do. Hello, big guy. Did anyone bring you the paint tubes? Sap green, he said. No, those colors are completely sold out. So I decided to paint something new. I'm quite happy with it so far. Oh, nice. Can I see it? So you can mock my magnum opus? Not a chance. I've had enough of you, magician. On guard. So, before we do this, I'm going to do some quick changes because that's very useful here. That's actually most of what the cards I have on me right now aren't very useful here. So, upgrade effect with CC, replace the CC to main card. Yes. This is something we found out in the demo builds and it was kind of annoying, but you get used to it. So, both of them are actually quite useless for me. So... I literally have no use for any of it, but I don't have the dash. So I'm actually gonna put that like on over here, have that like that. Okay, so. So this right here is something I find just absolutely absurd with how much damage you do to him just because of the combination of these cards effects is something kind of ridiculous about it. and here i can just like walk around him and then he just can't do anything about it really oh wait what he shouldn't have activated that like at that time so that's kind of weird but as long as he doesn't start dashing because dashing doesn't happen until typically about second reset because that's how much health he loses at that point but now that everything's gone we can just pound on him instantly So now we can expect to see some dashes like that. Oh, yeah, he actually got hit this time. So that's interesting. So now we're just gonna kind of like just leave it over here in the corner. And uh, I just realized I post death. But that's not too matter because we smooth. Gosh, that card is absolutely abysmal, but what you gonna do? Uh, I am making this thing look like a mess, so. If I lose here, that's abysmal uh, by itself. Yeah. 
Yeah. I lost. I shouldn't have lost, but <laughs> I guess uh, going down the second path with the central hall just drew me all sorts of off, but yeah, so that was actually my first loss in this version. So next video, I'm actually going to try to properly get to Scissorella. Uh, see if I can do that. And yeah, you guys will be able to come and watch. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed.